So, uh, Ms. Wong, uh, good afternoon and to you and to, uh, to Mr. Robert as well. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the National Critics' Choice uh, Online News. And please uh, tell us more about this exciting project, Project 9, which is now known as The Ip Man, the musical. I mean, how, that, how did it actually evolve uh, to what it is today? Mm. Okay, basically, uh, I think uh, like any great idea, it's, uh, it's pretty much an evolution. Uh, we've been through so many different ideas, thoughts, concepts. Um, <coughs> to answer your question, you're right, most musicals are based on legendary uh, topics um, and thus are created what we know as epics or epic musicals. And we believe we've selected a, a, a story that is equivalent, uh, similar to what you've just said, equivalent to that and that, is, uh, that can create a musical that has that same caliber of expectation, feeling, grandeur, uh, a story, uh, and, and something that we've selected that is today, contemporary. We, we, we purposely not wanted to go uh, 500 years ago in, in anyone's history. We wanted to have something that touches people's hearts um, and, the, and, and people that are still alive in the family today to, to help and express And also them. people can relate in their spirit, in their emotion, and uh, in their daily life, and that's how actually the musical touch people. Yeah. Well, so, what sort of challenges have you actually gone through in creating this musical? Was it uh, because uh, having to find these people who are alive uh, to get to get your approval, or is it going to be <coughs> other materials that you had to gather? I, I think I think uh, to, to answer that um, is is it's not any any project requires uh, has a lot of challenges, and one of the biggest ones is always financial. Um, you, you can have a, and of course, actually, one of the other challenges was finding the concept. It's not necessary what, uh, what you've just mentioned in terms of acquiring rights, although that is important. But finding a story that people, as uh, Hong Ming has just uh, relayed, that people are, can relate to, that people understand, um, and then finding the money to do that, um, you know, and the team. So, so we've had to, uh, particularly that we are based uh, in China, in Shanghai, um, and that we are creating a Chinese-themed musical that really hasn't... I mean, Miss Saigon is about Vietnam, uh, 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 King and I is about Thailand, but nothing really within a Chinese theme, um, which is strange now that China is becoming such an emerging market. So, so we've had to pick a theme. Now, there's thousands, if not millions, of stories and ideas that you can grab um, but we grab this one, and we believe this is the right one for this time. Yeah. As I also mentioned, this uh, our uh, the equipment, the music has wide appealing uh, to also spectrum of our audience, from Western to uh, Chinese to Asian to any kind of ethnic. We actually we feel because his uh, spirit touches people's heart. Wen Chun is universal uh, understanding and uh, knowledge. And, uh, and also it's contemporary. And also with, with recent success of the movie, and it's making it more popular. So actually we're kind of uh, right on the success, popularity, and uh, um, uh, into the art musical. Mm. So how long did, did it take to actually produce this material? I mean, must have taken from, you from this time or from we're, we're still producing. I mean, oh. the, the, the game hasn't finished. Uh, we, the, the, what we've done today is, is, is officially announced what we're doing. Uh, we've also uh, brought the team together. Uh, what we've presented is really just the tip of the iceberg. We have a, a long way to go that is exciting. Um, I think one of the great opportunities here is that the people watching this can view something from the seed. This is not an existing show that's just flying by through Singapore. This is a show that's actually right now being born uh, and conceived uh, with the help of people like yourself and all different elements. So everyone today has really helped contribute where this will go. And that's the exciting part. It's the journey. It's always the journey. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to the journey. Uh, so being, being the producers yourselves, um, one of the most important questions was that this production is going to be produced in English. Is, uh -huh. that, is that true? So you wanna okay. Um, just, just to answer that, we have strategized to create the musical both in English and Mandarin at the same time. Now, whether it will open in English or Mandarin will be dependent on the territory and the venue and the length of time. So we have a matrix that we are working on. 
which really, when the time comes, we will input right the different the three uh, matrix uh, equations and see what's going to be the response. But we are creating it at the same time. Yeah, but actually, as as soon as we actually get into the production, actually even now we are talking to buyers, and the buyers will dictate to us, just Robert mentioned, mm -hmm. how the language is going to be depend on the length of the, sh uh, the show, and um, but uh, our aim is for both languages. Okay, so to, to, to both of you, when, when do you think that the, uh, the musical itself will be released uh, for the world? End of 2012, early 2013, as we've said. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. First quarter of 2013, yeah. most probably. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. One last question. Do you have any issues with copyrights? I know that, that there's a lot of copyrights and trademarks that's going to be involved, including the use of the title Eat Man. Mm -hmm. uh, w w w was that a challenge? It's not a challenge because it's uh, for... You, it man is a, it's almost past uh, 50 years. It's actually is a, is a, is a name. It's a common name already. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. But how about the content itself, the the, the music? And, uh, and are they are, are these composed the by by mu music? Will be original created. It's actually right. it's be part of the musical uh, project. Oh. So so like in any uh, concept, uh, for example, like other other without mentioning other names or let's say John Lennon. Okay, of course John Lennon's name is trademarked. Okay, but uh, and actually there are certain territories that has different laws. So American law dictates that there is what they call personality copyright. Okay, so yes, over there if we did John Lennon the musical, definitely cannot. But in China, or should I say Hong Kong, okay, and Singapore, there are no personality trademarks. Okay, so um, these are just some issues that of course we'll be endeavoring and, and challenging, but we are completely prepared and completely, um, let me put it this way, we have the right armor to deal with any of these challenges by picking the right team and individuals to help us along the way in this fight. Great. Well, once again, uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Wong and Mr. Robert, uh, for this much. interview. And we look forward to the opening of your productions. And here at Nation National Grid's Choice, please uh, look up at your website uh, as soon as possible. Uh, what's your website, by the way? Mandamusical.com. Oh, uh, yes. That's right. And you have it. You heard it for the man. <laughs> Once again, thank you. Thank you thank very you much. much. Thank you.